Good afternoon, Gators, and happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you're having an amazing time at home. I have something special planned for you today. I was thinking I was going to show you how to repot this dwarf ficus tree from the pot it came in at Home Depot into the new and larger pot that we will be seeing in the garden. So let's get started. Step one. So to properly replant a house plant or another plant that you have from a smaller container to a larger container, you're going to need three things. For one, you're going to need the plant that you're going to replant. For two, you're going to need a larger container and make sure that it has drain holes at the bottom, as well as a potting mix that is suitable for the type of plant that you are going to repot. One. So step one, we're going to fill the bottom of the larger pot with potting soil. Make sure it covers all the way in the bottom. Remember, since it is a larger pot, you're going to have to build up some soil at the bottom so that our plant doesn't get buried underneath the pot over here and then it'll drain well. Step two. Action. All right, so step two is going to be taking the plant from the original container and transferring it to the larger and new container. Make, remember, we have our soil now at the bottom that's built up, and we're now going to transfer our plant. However, I would like to make note that you really have to support the plant in the process of taking it out of the container so that it doesn't come apart on you. After the container's off, you will see you will see that there are many roots that are growing around in a tangled mess of the container. Now, that's why we're repotting this. There's not any room for the roots left to grow. One. Now, since we filled the bottom with soil, I actually had to add a little bit so that the top of the plant is almost at the top of the container. Step three. Action. So in the middle of step two, you want to remember to go ahead and spread some of the roots out of the bottom so that they have an easier time acclimating to the rest of the soil that we fill the container with. Gators, we're to step four, woohoo! Step number four, boys and girls, is after the plant is in the bucket, you're going to notice that there's a large space around because it is a larger container, like I've mentioned, you're going to take some more potting mix and you're going to add it around the edges until you pack it all the way even with the top. Fill the soil until it's even with the top of the root ball. Collecting water. You'll need it for step five. Step five, a very important step. Okay, boys and girls, for step five, uh, first you're going to make sure that the soil level is even with the root ball. As you can see, everything's even around. It doesn't have to be even with the container, just with the root system. Uh, step five is to water. One. So for a couple tips on step five, since we are watering and the root system is new, you want to make sure it feels nice and at home in its new environment. We're going to give it plenty of water. And as you're watering, make sure that everything is soaking in really good. It's going to compact the soil, which means make it nice and firm inside. And it'll bring down any areas that have too much air. As I'm watering, you'll notice it looks like it's filling up. But the water will soon, within a couple seconds to a minute, sink right down into the soil. Add as much water as needed until all of the soil is moist. It is also very important to remember to clean your workspace after you are finished, just like if you were at school. We did it, Gators! We made it! These are the fruits of our labors today. A repotted dwarf ficus tree in a larger container now is a happier plant. I hope you had fun. I hope you stay safe at home and keep learning.